Okay. Let me just do it over. <laughs> Your moon's in Aquarius, which means you're persistent and friendly. You want to know everything. But your Saturn's in Aquarius, which means you have restrictions. And your, your responsibility is to keep your friends and to make friends and, and, and stuff like that. But, like, you feel like you don't want to be in the spotlight. And you feel weird about having fun. And you rather be working on knowing things or something. But you have restrictions and it's hard work for you to do this. Is that true or false? Some people, some people do want to be in the limelight when they have Saturn in Aquarius. But most of them don't for some reason. And then, your Mercury's in Sagittarius, and your Sun signs in Sagittarius. So you think you communicate with your ego, and blah, 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 but your Venus and Mars are both in Sagittarius. Your Venus is Sagittarius, which means you move around to relationships and relationships. You will look for somebody afar, a uh, foreign land, outside of home, just to be in a relationship, to keep things moving. And once you get bored, and you feel like you cannot commit because you're Sagittarius, uh, you want to move on. You already have a backup to break to break up with that person but you can come back to that relationship because it probably won't work for the uh, t time that you're going to move around like it's kind of like you stay loyal to one relationship but you want to move around and try something else because you can't commit to that one relationship and you want to try other people almost like a Gemini like a player but you, you you keep that person, and then you tell them that you want to keep things moving and see other people now, and they're bound to just be okay with it, and to be okay with you coming back to them. Is that true, too? Kind of? Yeah, it's kind of true, there. Your Mars is a Sagittarius, so it's your real power, your flaws. Okay, your Lilith, your Pluto's in Virgo, so you're very critical and pinpointing, um... Your suspicion of other people. Okay, hold on. That's, that's right. That, you nailed that on the head there. About Pluto and Virgo? That yeah, yeah. You stare into the darkness of other people, and you're very critical of them. Do you pull their fear out with... I don't know. Your little is in Scorpio, so you're very proud of rebelling to be the, of the cult knowledge. The, the, the dark like you know it exists and the light exists and everyone has a dark side to them and um you're against it's like Adam and Eve with Lilith I don't know it's like the story of that but you're you become a scorpion with saying fuck you Adam and then you're north and odd is in cancer you're supposed to build characteristics of a caring loving intimate emotionally engaging Cancer sign person, you lack this type of reality for you in character, but you will be have opportunities with it. With your moon being in Aquarius and your Saturn being in Aquarius, you're going to have to be facing your life lessons with knowing people and in your inner self as a moon sign, you know? You're going to have to face that in a Cancerian way, like being sentimental is what you lack, and you're going to gain it. And being clean to the past because you're so busy moving around with all the relationships anyways. But you have relationships in your life that you will cling to. And that's how you will build and those characteristics of the Cancerian, I guess. I don't fucking know. And you already learned being Capricorn, the father, being serious, hardworking. And you go back to that because it's your past. And it's something you know. And that's what you think you are. But you're growing. You're cracking the eggshell to be this other person. This more emotional person, um, this more nourishing person, and this more watery, emotional person, <clears throat> a silly person. I don't know. And a family person, someone who creates a home, has a home. You feel like you lack a home or a mothering type figure, but when you do have a mothering type figure, you want to be like them, add that to you, but you don't have to want to be exactly like them, because you're too serious for that, and Fuck those emotions when you can get closer to your emotions with your life lessons, I guess, and by being mentally um, aware and intuitive. I don't know. And, and contacting aliens is something that you probably did when you were little and you just don't know it, and you're able to have that connection. Have you ever had any visions or hallucinations of aliens ever in your life? When I was a kid, I did. 
Exactly. I told you when you were a kid, it always happens Saturn in Aquarius and your moon sun's in Aquarius. It's like your mom treated you like the alien because your moon's in Aquarius. She treated you like an outcast. And she's like, you're going to boarding school. You're going to an all boys camp. You cannot be weird anymore. I am sick of it. You're so the black sheep of the family. But you can kind of be friends. Because I can't be your mother. I'm going to be emotionally disciplined. I'm not going to be very affectionate with you. I'm not going to be very anything. And you're going to be like, what? I like a mother and I need the nourishment. I learned that other cancers are doing something that I don't know about. They're so unusual. So pay attention to people who are born in July and uh, first of August or something maybe, because they have their cancers I guess and end of June or something. You'll learn a lot from them when you're around them, and you'll build characteristics of your purpose. You'll be on your way to try to know them, get to know them, because you are Moon and Aquarius, so you will be intuitive to other people and getting to know other people's psychological cells and being aware of them observing them more than anybody else could seeing things about them that no one else will be able to see because they're not that weird and they're not they're they're too humiliated but you're not afraid of humiliation because of your moon in Aquarius and you still have Saturn in Aquarius which means your father was a fucking dipshit with your mother about being an outcast and you feel like everywhere you go you don't feel like you fit in because that's what a moon in Aquarius is curses because they feel like they're, like, above this anyways because they're going to be created as something that is totally distant and to be observant of others and have mental view of everybody that is genius and insane. Duh, right? Your cry the cryon is in Pisces, which means you have an unwounded healing of being an unconditionally loving Piscean Jesus freak complex kind of person. When a moon in Aquarius is like a god complex. I'm so close to god. I think I am god, right? And stuff like that. But like, you will heal yourself by being a transformer, a chameleon, being creative as fuck, and a psychic one, you know, your Ceres is in Scorpio, the way you heal other people's, your cult knowledge of being Lilith in Scorpio means you're very proud of the way you heal and transform and others and how you have sex. And plus, a Sagittarius is like someone who probably wears thongs and something corny, but they think they're all sexy. And stuff, which I guess that's their crazy way of being sexy is just like, I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> um, and stuff. And your palace is in Scorpio, so you have a lot of secrets at home and what you, you hide a lot of things at your house. Not just like your money and stuff like that, but you hide other secrets, like sexual secrets in your house. Cause, and your Juno's in Scorpio, so you meet people while you're getting those secrets like sexual secrets probably you have yeah 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 and uh you have vista and sagittarius which is one of your gifts that you get um you have opportunities these with um adventures and <clears throat> and traveling and higher learning and philosophy and being able to talk to somebody about anything really i mean you know what i mean do you, feel like, do you feel like that? Like, you can just talk to anybody about a lot of things, and you can teach them a lot of things, and be a big impact on them with your adventures and your knowledge. Pretty great. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right about that. So, and make a big, yeah. So great. And it makes a big impact to where that they want to stay friends with you, but you got to go. You leave because you're, you're sorry, because you're just thinking about, I need to go to my next journey to learn and I can't stay around and y'all stay loyal to me but you know you believe in friendships because your moon's in Aquarius but you have restrictions on even keeping the friendships and being responsible for just the friendship itself because of Saturn Aquarius and you feel like you're gonna feel weird about having fun with other people but you um is that right, too? Yeah. And I think your Sagittarius is on the cusp of Scorpion. Because it, it, it looks like it is. Totally. Yeah. Okay. You're on the cusp of Scorpio, if anybody asks you. So, that's groovy. Uh, your ne sure your Neptune's in Scorpio. Your Uranus is in Virgo, too. When you're feeling weird... 
and your higher self or whatever, but you still go back to being practical and being physical about these things. And you want to make money off these things because you're a hustler. Maybe. I'm not sure if you're a hustler. I think that, yeah. I'm not sure where this is coming from, yeah. but it seems like the Uranus and Virgo is like somebody who takes it on the road and can basically be hired for anything. Do you think that anybody will hire you for whatever and you're just hard working and you will do yeah. you will do weird things for money? Yeah. Like have you ever went, have you ever been a stripper? No. Neptune's in Scorpio. The weird you have sexual spiritual experiences, I guess. That are psychic. Yeah. You do just yeah. because it's sex doesn't mean it's spiritual, but yours would be pretty spiritual, I guess. And then, your Lilith, there you have it, rebel, as a scorpion, sexual powers, you'll be proud of the way that you have sex because people are fighting you not to have sex, and you keep this all a secret, and you'll be proud of all the locked secrets that you have, that you can't trust sharing with nobody, but you try to trust people, you try to, and you fight to trust people with your scorpionic powers, and you're like, I'm out here, I've got this. Right? Why? Is that really what you're all about? But then again, when you think you're too weird, you get back into this space of being a Virgo and practical with how weird you're willing to go. <clears throat> Why? So true. Well, and you're very suspicious. The way you suspicious of others, you're very critical of others too, to be able to basically trust them. But... You put yourself out there, and you're like, I gotta go. I cannot be tamed. I cannot be trapped. Gotta go to spark up the fire somewhere else. Bye-bye. I'm moving, traveling. Sorry. Isn't that funny? Is that true? Basically? Yeah. That's your bird chart. Yeah. No, and I suppose the thing you get, say, say it. I mean, it, I know you, you, you knew what you were saying, because nobody else would know. I mean... And I never met you, and you never met oh, me. Never. And this is just no. your astrology chart that can tell a lot about you and everybody else, and you can tell a lot about other people by just getting their chart and then experiencing them and being like, well, that person's like this with all these planets, and all these planets have something to do with their, their relationships, their sex life. How they get mad. Your Mars is how you get mad at people and how you have your sexual expression. Your Mars is in Sagittarius. So, okay. you probably wear thongs and shit. Do you? No, no, I don't like them. I don't either. <laughs> but what kind of weird clothes do you wear underneath your clothes? Do you wear something sexual? I wear the underwear I wear. I just wear uh, like a brief boxers. That's what I wear. Boxers. Those are cool, yeah. So, yeah. do, you, do you not have any I secret... The, I, don't wear the real, I don't wear the real, real tight ones. I wear the kind that's kind of loose around my leg, but they're the boxers like uh, Hanes. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, you know, I was just wondering if there's any sexual hidden secrets that you actually do have. Oh, Be I have a bunch of them. That because... I mean, deep, dark secrets, oh yeah. That's what this is about. Scorpion is deep, dark sexual secrets. That's... Oh yeah, and I do got, I do got some. I mean, big time. Well, thank you ever so kindly for that. I mean, that sounds good enough. You don't have to tell too much. Yep. Because they kept it, keep it pure. You know? That's what you do. You just have a setback like, well, I gotta be practical. I can't tell too much about myself. Just enough, you know, to float away. Float, or, you know? <clears throat> At least you're honest. Toodles. The Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is remind me of this doughy, dumbfounded kid, like, duh, I'm here, but I'm adorable, and I'm kind of dumb, like, but I don't know what's going on, but I'm still coming up with smart things, right? And then, like, but you're just, like, this dough boy, adorable person, like, that's what cancers are adorable, too, in a silly way, in a childish way. Like an autistic way, like they're drawing on us a lot. In a dumb way, too. 
But the Sagittarius is like, they got hit in the head a few times. They're just like, <laughs> I farted. Oops, I'm sorry. Is that kind of like you? No, no. Yeah, but do you like to, no. do you have, do you just in denial? Do you feel insulted all the time? That's what they always like. They're like, don't insult me. Like, they take things, like, childish, like, in that way like that. Like, they act like they can't understand what's going on. <laughs> well, you were agreeing with me earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All that other stuff you just on the head and nail with it. Yeah, you are. About how dumb and and you act. Like, and like, like that one thing you said about um, relationships. Yeah. And like I would do a, uh, a long-distance relationship. Long-distance is a moon and Aquarius kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Right. And then Saturn and Aquarius would be like, you have to work really hard to get to that long distance. Right, and even though if I knew it wasn't going to work, yeah. so I would still go to it because I wasn't going to be, yeah. I gonna be dedicated to it to start with. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you still want to move around, and you yeah, you didn't have to dedicate it, but you just jump in there like you're gambling with life. And it's like another thing, too, that I can't do. I can't stand being by myself. Yeah, they, they don't, they don't like doing things. Yeah, and it's exactly like Sagittarius says they like they they don't need anybody. They just don't want to do it alone. That's the main thing about Sagittarius. Is, right? Yeah. They don't need anybody. They just don't want to do it alone. Uh, like they uh, need somebody to ride that pony horse. It's yeah. Really silly. They're like I animalistic get, in a little way. So I could get up there so get up and just sit up on top of my lap. Yeah. Your favorite color is hunter green. Sagittarius' yeah. favorite color usually is like this dingy teal green kind of color. Or a hunter yeah. green. Yeah. That's usually their favorite yeah. colors. Like this dingy green color. Like this tealish color. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I got some shirts color. somewhere that's that mm -hmm. color. Yeah. That color is so ugly to me. But I think pink is uglier. But like, I don't care. Y'all like whatever. Like something different. I just love lavender beige and all these other weird colors like marigold and moss green or some shit. Yeah. Like hippie shit, like vintage yeah. looking shit. I like that stuff. That's what I like. So that's yeah. crazy. Sagittarius has always have a different complete style for me. They like like they like jeans with crosses on them or something like that. It's really tacky to me. And like they like dragons. Well, yeah, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius is, Aquarius is, Aquarius is like your moon sign, likes a lot of neon light colors, you know what I mean, like, yeah, hot yeah. pink, hot, yeah. aqua blue, uh, lime, yeah. light green, all those neon colors. Like a real dark, like a, like a real dark red, kind of a fiery red colors and stuff. That's groovy, yeah. too. Love colors. Yeah. So, if anybody asks you, what's your strong sign, you'll be like, what? I'm a Scorpio cause Sag I'm a Sagittarius cause Scorpio, Moon and Aquarius, and that's what you should remember. So, what is your astrology sign again? Sagittarius. Cause Scorpio, Moon and Aquarius. Uh, Scorpio, yeah, right, right, yeah. Practice saying it to me. I like to write that down so I'll never so I can remember it. Okay, we'll write this down. Uh, but thank you ever so kindly. Want to say the bye to the camera? Huh? Say bye to the camera. Thank you.